Stories such as this touch my people in many, many different ways. I have been teaching for 25 years. I had young students come to me and ask me, Mr. Hollowhorn Bear, what you are sharing with us, is this the truth? I said, yes, it is. Mr. Hollowhorn Bear, I'm angry. I can't take this. I can't just sit here and, and listen to this. I'm going to drop this class. Maybe I'll come back next semester. It has happened. And students come back one semester, maybe the next semester, maybe three times. I tell my people, my students, all of us, all of us, native and non-native, we must all process through a grieving cycle, a proper grieving cycle, to look back in our history and identify those very significant losses, culture, traditions, children, spirituality, language, and the big one, land. And we must begin to pro process these in a proper way. But many of us, we turn to denial, we turn to anger, resentment, we turn to alcohol, drugs, suicide. We don't want to hear it. And so, as we began to process these in the proper way, we find hope within ourselves. We find ourselves in the meaning of life. We find spirituality or religion. And going back, finding ourselves, finding our gift, working on that gift and making it better, stronger, and use that gift to help myself, my family, my people, this world, to give something back positively. But it's difficult, it's hard when we know our history. That pains us, but we need to know it from our own perspective, not just from the glorifying moments of Crazy Horse, sitting bull, but turn the coin over, turn it over and see about some of the very hurtful decisions that we have also made pertaining to our people.